Today I'm going to be going over my self tanning tips and my favorite products. So I thought since it's becoming summer, a lot of people want to have that really nice tan glow. So why not give some tips on that? So first off, the most important, and if you've watched any of these kind of videos, you already know this, but exfoliating is definitely number one. Um, and I really love the Prestige Wonder Polish. I'm using the Sweet Orange Tangerine one right now, and it smells divine. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I make sure to really scrub my body so that I have a nice, clean, um, like new skin, no dry skin, no like old flaky skin or anything, not that I really have that problem, but even if you don't think that you have a lot of old, you know, skin on your skin, that's stupid to say that. Even if you don't think you have dry skin or anything like that, you definitely still want to exfoliate. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a sugar polish. It smells so good. So I would definitely make sure to scrub my elbows and my knees, my ankles, anywhere where it tends this, the tanner tends to collect a little bit more as well. Those areas are really important to exfoliate. I also make sure to put lotion on my elbows, um, knees, ankles, um, my knuckles, anywhere where the tanner tends to collect and look a little bit darker or splotchy, you don't want that. So I put the lotion on right before I start to self tan. And then my new favorite self tanner that I'm really excited to share with you guys is by Sun Goddess. And if you follow a lot of YouTube girls, they might have already mentioned it. That's how I got this dark. Do I look ridiculously darker compared to what I usually am so pale? I am like so excited about this. I'm very tan. And this really gives me the look of a spray tan. Um, I tend to get spray tans a couple times in the summer just because I really want to protect my skin. And Arizona sun is pretty harsh. And um, I don't really sunbathe or anything like that. Um, maybe if I'm outside I'll get tan, but I try to wear sunscreen a lot of the time. So I really love getting spray tans, but they're expensive. So this is like a godsend to me. It's like, oh, because it gives me the exact same coloring as when I get a spray tan. You look super dark in the first application. This was just one application. And I am going to show you before and after pictures in a second here. Um, so anyways, this is in the dark formulation. It is cruelty free, which I really, really love as well. The smell is not super harsh. If you've used lots of um, sunless tanners, which I have, usually they smell really bad and like chemically and just, ugh, you know the smell I'm talking about. It's not fun. This one has a pretty good smell. Uh, I can't really describe it. It's kind of like a perfume smell, like floral a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like powdery, powdery floral. It smells really good to me. Um, and even my mom commented about it because she helped me put this on my back. And she was like, it smells better than the, one, the other one you were using. Um, so anyways, I really am loving this product. So this is what I do. It did come with a set of gloves. Um, but I really like using a mitt better. It's just an easier, easier application for me. And you can find these mitts at Sephora or Ulta. Um, it's usually near like the Saint Tropez or just the self tanners in general. And this really, oh, it's so dirty, sorry. But this really allows me to get an even application. So what I do is I pump a little bit onto the mitts and then I kind of pat it into my arm like one, two, three. And so it'll be three dots on my arm and then I massage it all over going in a downwards motion. And I do it in sections. So I do like my top part of my arm then the bottom half of my arm, as well as the same thing with my leg. I do the top of my thigh area and then below the knee. Um, and then I do do my chest, my back, a little bit of my stomach, and a very little amount on my hands and bottom and the tops of my feet, excuse me. So nothing, not too much on the hands though, because you don't want them to look like you've been self tanning. You can definitely have that happen. Uh, and be a little bit more sparing on the knees, elbows, and wrists because you don't want that to look darker than the rest of your body. I'll say two small negatives for me on the Sun Goddess is the pump tends to get very messy, so you just have to be careful with that. It's not that big of a deal, but it may be to some, so I'm going to mention that. Also, this dries super quick. And I mean like almost instantaneously, which is a good thing for me and also a bad thing because when I start rubbing it in, I'm like, oh my God, it's already dry yet. And then I feel like I'm in a streak, which you don't at all. I have no streaks, no areas that were splotchy or anything like that, which that's why I'm so impressed with this product. Um, but because it dried so quickly, I was a little scared of that. 
and I might have applied a little bit more on my arms by accident <laughs> because of being scared that it dried too fast. So this definitely gets an A from me. I really, really love it. And I've only used it um, twice now. Um, and it lasts pretty good. It lasts, the coloring lasts pretty well on me too. Okay, I am going to mention one other product that I used to use before Sun Goddess. Um, and that is Saint Tropez. And you can find this at Sephora. And the thing that I like about this one is that it's a foam. So it's a pump and it's a foam. It's a very natural appearance. Um, this is very gradual. It's not going to give you this nice, deep, dark coloring. It's going to be more of like a light sun kiss. And then you can do it every day if you wanted to or every other day and build up to a darker color. So that's why this has kind of replaced Saint Tropez for me because it gives me that dark color right away. Um, I do kind of like that this doesn't dry as quickly though and I can make sure it's massaged really well into my skin. But you know what? I will risk that because of the great color of this one. Um, I used to also use the Banana Boat. I forget the exact name of it, so I'll put it right here. That one's pretty good too. It, get, it does give you a good dark color, but you have to be a little bit more careful with the application. You can, you can get streaks if you're not careful with that one, and it's pretty strong smelling compared to, compared to these two. This one smells not so great either, but this one smells really good. So um, you may be wondering, do I tan my face? Um, with the Saint Tropez, I have used this because it's not that harsh of a coloring, so I'm not too scared to use this on my face. Um, the Sun Goddess, I did use this on my face, but just I used it in my moisturizer and put a very tiny bit in with my moisturizer, mixed that together, and applied it all over my face. And that gave me a little bit of coloring, but not as dark coloring as my arms. But as you can see, my face matches my body, right? Well, I just make sure to match my foundation to what color my skin is instead of actually putting the bronzer on top of my face. So the one I've been really liking right now is the Shiseido. This is actually like a tinted moisturizer. It's not really a foundation. But it's the Shiseido Urban Environment Tinted UV Protector. It has 43 broad spectrum SPF and it's oil free. So you know I have an oily T-zone, so this is wonderful for me. And it's in shade 2. And initially when I first got this I was super pale and it was not a match. But now it's perfect match for my Sun Goddess Glow. So I really, really like this. It lasts all day, it moisturizes, and has the great SPF, so it's perfect for summer in my opinion. This is what it looks like. And I also use the uh, Balance and Brighten from Laura Geller in regular uh, on top of that. And I blend it down to my neck a little bit, and that's all I've been using for my foundation, and it matches really well. Also, if you're wondering, on my lips today, I have this Glossomer by Chanel in number 166. I think it's really pretty. All right, guys, I think that is it for my tips and tricks on how I get nice and bronzed and glowy for the summer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. And also, I just wanted to mention Sun Goddess was super sweet and gave me a 10% off coupon code for you guys. And the coupon code is just Melissa Parada, which is my username. And I'm going to link this um, site down below as well as the coupon code if you forget. Um, I definitely suggest you guys check this out, especially if you've tried other um, sunless tanners and didn't get such great results. I think you'll be happy with this because just look at how tan I am. And after this, I'm going to post my before and after pictures. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please post any questions down below if you have any questions for me. And I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.